You're with Anthony from Tweak Town again, and we are still at the GPU Technology Conference in San Jose. I'm just going to take a quick look around, just a bit of a random look at actually what you can see here. So the hall is not that big here. This is mainly just for some companies to come and show off their gear. Uh, we're here early because we have the all access passes, so we can actually go and take a look around without all the rest of the kind of public that's here. So they have a ton of different things to look at. I'm not going to explain everything. You're just going to be able to see kind of like a first person look as I'm walking around through Google Glass. So NVIDIA is showing off technology like G-Sync. So G-Sync is, is a high refresh rate technology at 144 hertz um, and, and lower that actually makes it feel like it's running at a higher frame rate. If you haven't seen it, it's something that you really need to experience in person. So there's nothing that I can really show you there, but that's just one of the one of the demos that NVIDIA have. Here we have a GeForce GTX 4K surround. So as you can see here, we have four NVIDIA GeForce GTX Titan Black Editions running um, Project Cars by Smartly Mad Studios, uh, which is pumping at 1.5 billion pixels per second, which is a truly insane amount of pixels being pumped out. The three screens are there. We'll take a closer look at those in a minute. So this is an Origin Genesis PC with the four GTX Titan Black Editions. So you can see there it actually looks quite good with the with the four GPUs and the, the, the green color scheme actually comes out really nice. Um, the rest of the system is obviously a 2011 socket system, most likely a 4960X, but I haven't checked that out yet, but I'm pretty sure the Origin Genesis does have that processor. So there you've got four, um, a three 4K displays running an absolutely insane amount of pixels. Um, we have another, oh, so NVIDIA usually have um, GeForce GTX 800M notebooks, but they're not there. So we've got Dell's booth here, which is not too interesting, not for me personally anyway. Um, we've got like a massive system here, obviously a big rack mount system that's running some insane amount of hardware. There's an insane amount of sound coming out of it. The heat isn't too bad. Uh, we'll have a quick walk through. GeForce Grid or NVIDIA Grid. We've got a Grid K1 here. So these K1, um, the, the Grid K1 systems actually run four. So you've got one, two, three, four um, NVIDIA uh, K1 processors, which are based on their Kappa architecture. There's actually four gig of RAM per GPU. So each one of these, each one of these sticks here uh, is one gig of RAM, and you've got 192 cores, um, NVIDIA CUDA cores per GPU. This kind of stuff is impressive because um, obviously all of this gets crammed into the heatsink and the, the rest of the video card into a shell, and you can throw it into a, a system. So there's not much over here. It's a lot of food if you guys want to come and eat it. Um, we have a lot of companies that I haven't personally heard of. PNY, which you guys and girls might have heard of. They make graphics cards, very close NVIDIA partner. Have a quick look at what they've got here. The carpet's really nice when you're walking around. It's actually really nice to walk on, nice and soft. It's a big change to what we usually have. So you've got some Quadro cards being shown off, um, 780R, uh, 780Ti. Another few companies over here. System running two of the NVIDIA Grid K2 GPUs, which we'll take a quick look at here. So not too bad. The heat out of here, I was into bed, I don't know how much you guys can actually hear there, but there's a fair amount of force being coming out, but that's actually pretty cool, but I don't know how much strain is actually on the GPUs right now. So as you can see, there's not much more. We'll, we'll have a walk over to the cars now. More food if you guys are still hungry. Um, MSI, some cool setups here, triple screen, MSI actually have a pretty small booth, um, this is the 8K where we started off before, if you're still hungry, Lenovo have a smart TV here, um, this is actually powered by an NVIDIA chip in the back but they don't have it here because we're here early with our all access pass, it actually just slots in here and then it ha actually has a touchscreen remote. So you can actually be sitting here and you can just be using a touchscreen remote. We might get some footage if they come back later on. 
And here is probably the, the big showcase is NVIDIA Tegra powered vehicles. So right here we have, um, and we've got the, we've got an Audi, and over there we've got a Jeep. We've got some BMWs as well around, I think. Um, there's actually an infotainment system inside that is powered by NVIDIA hardware. So there's a separate video that we've got that will show that. So we're just gonna just take a quick look around the cars in, in a first person style. Not too bad. No, they're locked. Damn, I was gonna drive away with that. Uh, Ava Direct, we'll quickly deviate to Ava Direct. They have some beautiful systems here. So we've got three Asus PQ321s here. So each monitor is a 4K display. So you're looking at 12K in total, some insane amount of pixels. I'm very jealous of that setup. I actually have one of those at home, um, but I really do need two more. But unfortunately, they won't fit into the backpack that I have on my back right now. So you've got four GeForce cards here. Um, so what have we got here? We've got four of the GeForce GTX Titan Black Ultimate gaming GPUs, six gigabyte of RAM each. So four of those running, um, very beautiful, very, very nice. They've got a, I've got a good color scheme here with the with the silver case. Um, it's actually actually quite a nice system. There's one more here that EverDirect have um, with four of the NVIDIA Tesla K40 GPUs. So obviously that's that's more built for a, a supercomputer, like a personal supercomputer, um, versus that being more of a gaming system. So we're just gonna wrap up. So we're not gonna go over seven or eight minutes here. And we have a very nice looking BMW here. The cool green LEDs are nice, nice touch from, from NVIDIA. Again, the infotainment system is powered by an NVIDIA Tegra SoC. So this one doesn't actually have an LCD in the front, but I'm gonna show you separately. So we did show you this before. This is the Jeep Grand Cherokee, which is again powered by an NVIDIA Tegra GPU. Um, the, the K1, I think, or K2. Uh, so we showed it here before. We've actually got um, some pictures of this in a separate article that you can check out. And inside the, so the digital cockpit, you see it's advertised there um, in the Grand Cherokee. And then inside, we're gonna take a quick look. Um, which is the system just there. So again, it's just a normal car with, a, with an SOC that actually powers everything inside. So we are here again, live at the GPU Technology Conference hosted by NVIDIA and some very, very close partners of theirs. We've got some content coming up in the next couple of hours, but we will put this up before or after. So I don't know if you're gonna see this before or after, but you will see this at some stage. Thank you for watching.